Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm nature journaling. It's April 5th. I wasn't sure what today's adventure was going to be, so I just headed out the front door. It's April 5th, and the skies are clearing. The wind's pretty calm today. I'm going out the front door. Whoops. I didn't get very far, maybe two or three steps, when I noticed something on the ground and I stopped to look at it. But I see something down here on the ground. It was a tiny moss with sporophytes. Very interesting round sporophytes. I went back into the house to get my computer and my Zoomy to check it out. When I went inside, I tried to identify it in my common mosses of the Northeast and Appalachians. I think it might be a goblet moss because it's tiny, tiny, tiny. The leaves are usually only three to four millimeters long and they have a sharp point. You can see the midrib in the translucent leaves and there's very large cells that are quite visible. The capsules are pear-shaped when they're green. And when they become dry, they become more like a goblet shape. I'll have to go back and check these when the sporophytes are dry to look at the goblets because right now they're shaped like a pear. Even their name, pyroforme, means pear shape. Another interesting thing about this moss was it had little caps, the calyptra. They had a very pointy top. I spent some time trying to get some good pictures of this moss, but it was so tiny I had to keep changing positions to try to get the little tiny leaves with my zoomy. Since I was collecting tiny things, I decided to head out to the mossy log. That little Phoebe or Peewee bird is flying around this morning. I'll have to get a look at him and see what it is. Never gets very close. So while I was collecting tiny things today, I decided to come out to mossy log and collect some of that moss. I can add it to my map that I made the other day. It's right near the muddy track that goes out to the clearing. And I had done some mapping in this area before and I left a blank space for this mossy log. So I'm gonna go see what's growing on it. And this looks like hypnum, the brocade moss. Walk along here a little bit. And this is something different here. So maybe I'll take a little piece of that in and look at that closer. While checking out the moss in the log, I spied something different. Oh, and there's some lichen on the other side.
So I took a sample of the lichen to look at it later with the Zoomy. And then I went back towards the pile of sticks where I saw something interesting the other day. And while I'm collecting tiny things, there's one more thing I wanted to go back and check on. And that's when I was out here the other day looking for polypores. I saw some really cool jelly fungus. Oh my, look at that. It's all dried up now, black. Doesn't look at all what it looked like the other day. A little mushy there. On the way back from the sticks, I noticed something on the ground. Okay, walking back into the house. Something new, something green. Little green leaves here, and I have no idea what they're going to be, but they might be, might be violets. They might be violets. I'll have to come back and check on them when they bloom. When I got back inside, I started checking all my tiny treasures. I got some good zoomy pictures of the goblet moss. See how tiny it is? Smaller than my fingernail. When I drew it, I put the little caps on, but they'll fall off soon. One even fell off while I was taking the pictures. I got some good shots of the leaves where you can see the midrib and all the cells. Very translucent leaves. Not at all like the polytricum or common hair cap moss I saw the other day where the leaves were opaque and you could only see the midrib at the base. I couldn't wait to look at the lichen on the log. I love the little upright lichens. They're called fruticose because they have an upright habit. Some of my favorite species are the cladonia. They're very small. Again, smaller than my fingernail. But under the zoomy, I could see their structure. I went to my Lichens of North America book. I don't know much about lichens. So I just went to the Cladonia species and started flipping through until I could find one that looked similar. I stopped when I got to the wan lichen because this looked very much like what I had found. The top is split and each one has a little structure where the spores are produced. Sometimes it's like a star shape at the top. It says in the book that they do grow on wood. So this might be what I have the wan lichen. But while looking at the lichen, trying to get some close views, I found something I think is a tiny, tiny liverwort growing amongst the lichen and little tiny bits of moss. It was so small, it was very, very hard to see. I lost it three times while I was trying to get a good picture of it. If you look at my chart, you can see that two leaves take up only one millimeter. So I went outside, wasn't sure what my adventure was going to be. I didn't get very far, but I had fun collecting tiny treasures. And then I spent the rest of the afternoon playing with the Zoomy and exploring these tiny habitats. I love the little lichen. I discovered a tiny, tiny liverwort.
and a new species of moss to put on my life list for moss, the goblet moss. So all in all, it turned out to be a great day. Thanks for coming along. Bye-bye.